Good morning. 5.45 a.m. Just leaving Mount Wales, heading to Chadora campsite, which is 14.3 kilometers away. I might be slightly wrong there, but got full moon. You can see it up there. It's just beginning to get light over there. Last night was pretty good night, it's nice and warm. It's a bit wet, so I think we've had some rain overnight. So hence I've got the poncho on, if you can hear it. <coughs> Just to attempt to keep me dry while walking through the scrub here. The first couple of kilometres is all downhill. A drop of I think 300 metres. So it's going to be quite a few steep bits. Okay, six o'clock and I've got the light and the moon on my right hand side and I've got the sky on the left going a nice orange at the moment so I've been able to turn my headlamp down I can see the track nice and clear without it what I'm using the headlamp for is uh, to pick up the woggles because they are good with the headlamp they do reflect and shine out if anything they're a lot easier to see at night with your headlamp on than they are in the daytime uh, it's been quite uh, I don't want to jinx myself but it's been quite a mild slope going down at the moment so if it continues like this it's going to be nice but I can't imagine it's going to stay like this I'm sure there's going to be a couple of really steep bits but we'll find out. I can feel my hands are a bit cold, but I've got a base layer on, I've got my hiking shirt on, and I put my poncho on. And I don't know, I've still got some of it undone on the side to let ventilation. But I'm toasty warm. Almost to the point where I might have to take my neck scarf off. Or swap my hats for a cooler one. I'm wearing my beanie, my merino wool beanie at the moment and that's toasty, I really do like that I would recommend anybody getting one not necessarily the wool ones or the plain wool ones but the merino wool they're a lot, lot nicer than the everyday wool beanies a lot more comfortable and a little bit more stretchy so they're not squeezing your head so tight I'm glad I haven't taken off any layers yet. The lower down I get is the mist and the temperature is dropping. So if you come at this time of the year, be aware of that.
4.2 kilometers in, I'll just check, and 10.6 left to go. So I was slightly out in the beginning, it's actually 14.8 kilometers to Chadora from Mount Wells. But it's still doing pretty good. Still a bit misty down here, I don't know if you can see that. listening to the birds chirping away and the kookaburras earlier I missed them I tried to get the camera and film it and so you could hear it but as soon as I pressed record they stopped and uh, so far it's been a beautiful morning I was thinking about carrying on all the way to dwelling up but I'll make my mind up when I get to Chadora but my knees hurting again not as bad because the decline hasn't been as bad as yesterday. Uh, we'll see when we get there what time. I'll have something to eat and I'll make my mind up then. Time is 7.40. Time for me to take the poncho off. I'm beginning to perspire. So I'll check in a moment how far we are. Oh. Let's put this back onto normal foam. Soaking wet. So look, seven forty. Right here. Map. Oh, it's 6.5 kilometers in with 8.3 to go and that's in less than two hours that's not bad going I'm happy with that let's see elevation uh, it's gonna be going up by where am I there yeah up by 100 meters then back down to the shelter. So the most most of this next section or this bit is going uphill for the next two about the next three kilometers and then it starts going downhill. You have a couple of little V's so you'll go down and back up slightly. Yeah that's good. I'm happy with that one. Back on power save. Bye. Important water. Nice and cold. Okay, got a poncho. I've gone 
from having 15 hour charge put on to power save mode or maximum power saving mode and we're at two days 13 hours and that's with 76 percent battery left so it's worthwhile putting it on power save mode and just turn it on for your maps when you need to Gone through a few bushes of sticky stuff on. So how's it gone so far today? Fairly easy, to be honest. I wish I'd started a couple more days ago and had the time to go all the way to Collie this time, but work on Monday and tomorrow is Sunday. So I'll get to Chadora today. I don't think I'll be walking all the way to Dwelling Got by the way I feel. My neck's hurting from the fall again. A bit of crunch my knees playing a bit not as bad as it was but it's still playing up so I think the sensible thing to do is to spend the extra night there and let it recover a little bit more and walk in the rain tomorrow so forecast rain from midnight tonight all the way through until tomorrow evening I think it is so yeah, I think the poncho is just going to be keeping me warm, not dry, with that perspiration. Okay, I'll finish my five minute break and then I'll head off. Okay, it's just after 9 o'clock and we are 10.1 kilometres in, so 4.7 kilometres to go. So we're nearly at the um, top of the ridge, so then it will start to be downhill all the way to, Ch to Chadora. So, looking forward to getting there. Let's close this now. Put it back onto power save mode. Apply, and there we go. My shoulder is playing up on my knee, but let's soldier on, shall we? See you shortly. Nine fifty, and we've got two point five kilometres to go. Terrain has been fairly even, slightly up and down. A lot of trees over the track, so you're having to walk around the trees. Apart from that, fairly easy going still. Ten forty-five a.m. and I'm at Chadora Camp. Like I said, the walk was fairly easy. It wasn't much in the sense of steep hills. Going into Mount Wells, heading north to south, it was seriously steep. But coming out from Mount Wells to Chadora, coming down the mountain, it was a nice gradual decline. So that's made it a lot easier, no rocks or anything to climb up and down and over. Uh, 
Yeah, apart from my knee hurting and my shoulder really playing up still, it, it was a good day. It was. The scenery was beautiful. Tomorrow, I'll probably be leaving early again. Because it's a 22 kilometre day tomorrow to get to uh, Dwayne or 22 point something. So, that's fairly level. So it's not going to be much uphill or downhill. So I'm looking forward to that one. So yeah, it's nice to be out here again. So if you've enjoyed this video and you're not a subscriber, please go down below and click on the subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of all future videos and click the like button. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.